increase in number of deaths of Russian soldiers in Ukraine leads to riot against regime in Russia. Ukrainian military expert Pyotr Chernik said that if the losses of the occupying army increase to more than 50 to 60,000 monthly, this will lead to social tension in Russia. There is an important political point. In my opinion, Russians are not capable of a rebellion from below. I don't believe in this and this has never happened in history. The only successful case was the Bolshevik rebellion. However, it was organized by the elites, led by Lenin, for German money, he said on Espresso. According to Chernik, the elites can take advantage of the social tension in the aggressor country to remove the ruler of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, from power. Today, the Russian Federation painlessly mobilizes more than 30 to 32,000 personnel every month. In May, the defense forces set a record for the destruction of occupiers, 39,000 personnel. If we reach the figures of 50 to 60,000 destroyed occupiers monthly, then this will really lead to very powerful social tension in Russia. One of the Kremlin's towers can take advantage of this social tension to remove Putin from power. I would like to remind you that such an attempt has already taken place. Prigozhin himself did not provoke it, he was forced to do so, or was motivated by some group, I think, in the FSB, the expert explained. As of the morning of June the 11th, Russia's losses in the war increased to 530,000 people. The ruler of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, admitted that the occupation army is losing 20,000 combat soldiers every month in Ukraine. This figure is close to the number of military personnel who are mobilized for war in the Russian Federation every month. Russian officials are concerned about a slowdown in recruitment ahead of a planned summer 2024 offensive, ISW experts say. In addition, it is unknown whether the Russian Ministry of Defense managed to continue the indicated pace of mobilization. France's historic Palace of Versailles was briefly evacuated on Tuesday afternoon after plumes of smoke was spotted amid construction work near the Marble Court, an area of the original palace built in 1623. Hundreds of tourists and staff members were evacuated from the palace following the emergence of the smoke. Footage shared on social media showed smoke emerging from the roof of the 17th century palace located some 10 miles from the center of Paris. French media reported that a fire alarm was triggered in one of the buildings and alerted staff who promptly called the emergency services. Footage showed hundreds of palace visitors flooding the courtyard outside one of the buildings as the firefighters entered the building to locate and extinguish the flames. Associated Press reported, with reference to the palace press office that there was no fire, but smoke was emanating from a hot zone in the wood. The office said local firefighters quickly put out the smoke. Palace of Versailles is among France's most popular tourist destinations along with the likes of the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral and the Louvre. Ah non, c'est un feu, regarde, ça fume noir. Hein. Ah <rire> oh non, tu sais, les pompiers, là, ils sont partis en courant. C'est une chance qu'on peut compter ça comme cuisine. Je sais pas. Non, 
Bah oui, moi je t'ai un mec qui...